Author Thomas Friedman chronicled this epic technological disruption in his best-selling book, Thank You for Being Late, in a chapter called What the Hell Happened in 2007? As Friedman documented, in 2007, Steve Jobs unveiled the iPhone at the Moscone Center in San Francisco and began a process by which we put a handheld computer connected to the internet in the hands of virtually everyone on the planet. That's not all that happened in 2007. In 2007, actually in late 2006, a company called Facebook opened its platform to anyone with a registered email address, and it went global in 2007. In 2007, a new company called Twitter went off on its own independent platform and went global. In 2007, the most important software platform you've probably never heard of called Hadoop, named after the founder's son's toy elephant, launched its algorithm. It's one of the key foundations of big data. It's what allows a million computers to work together as if they're one computer. In 2007, GitHub, the world's biggest open source software repository, opened its doors. In 2007, Google released an operating system called Android. In 2007, Google bought a little-known TV company called YouTube. In 2007, Jeff Bezos unveiled the world's first ebook reader called Kindle. In 2007, IBM launched the world's first cognitive computer called Watson. In 2007, three design students in San Francisco who were attending a design conference rented out their three air mattresses to people who could not get hotel rooms. It worked out so well that they started Airbnb in 2007. In 2007, Change.org and Palantir started. The cost of sequencing a human genome in 2001 was $100 million. A couple of years later, the cost was $10 million. And then the cost dropped over a waterfall. The year was 2007. In 2007, solar energy took off. In 2007, a process for extracting natural gas from tight shale called fracking began. In 2007, the cloud started, and that's when the first profits emerged. And in 2007, Intel, for the first time, went off silicon. It introduced non-silicon materials into its transistors, which allowed the company to keep exponential growth going. Thomas Friedman concluded that 2007 may in time be understood as the single greatest technological inflection point since Gutenberg invented the printing press.